Hello, welcome back to another video to Zero IQJ. Today on Vintage Fridays, we got ourselves a console you probably never heard of. And here we have the GP32 from Game Park Holdings. Now, this was designed to compete with the Game Boy Advance, but didn't really do very well. So, Game Park Holdings re released it as an open source handheld, and it done quite well actually. It runs emulators. And you can see here, got a nice clicky joystick, got your start button there, select button. Got your A and B, some nice clicky shoulder buttons. On the bottom here, you got a volume control, got an earphone socket, an external um, port there, and you could plug in things like a, a keyboard. And the keyboard you could use was off these Sony Ericsson phones, you remember them? Sony Ericsson, um, or the Ericsson phones, the chat pad, it plugged into the bottom, you could use that keyboard in here. And you got yourselves a three volts DC in. And this unit is a GP32, and it said it BOU. Now BOU stands for backlit unit. There's two versions of this. There's GP32 and GP32 Blue or BOU, which is what we've got here, the backlit unit. It also runs from two uh, AA batteries. Now in the top here is where you put your memory card, which stores all your games and stuff. And memory cards, not SD card. We got ourselves a smart media card. Check this thing out. And this is 128 megabytes, not a gigabyte rubbish. 120 megabytes, smart media card, that SD card rubbish. Check it out. Look how thin this thing is. And this has got um, emulators on here. We've got a Master System emulator, a Mega Drive emulator, and we've also got Doom and stuff on here. We can also play Great Giano Sisters. On the front here, you've got your two speakers, and it's a rather nice colour screen. So let's uh, plug in the memory card. And on top here, got another USB connection there. Some sort of weird connection there for USB. So you can plug it into your computer, and that's how I used to get it running for the emulators, but it had to use a separate program. Now, it did release a GP32, um, a 2X, I think it was, and that should run off an SD card, plug it into your computer, drag and drop, and away you went. Let's turn it on. And you can see here we've got Play or PC Link. So if I go to Play, and we're going to press A. You see, we've got the Great Jarno Sisters or Jarno's Return. We've got SMK Fighters, just a demo. We've got uh, something like Cotton, I think it is, like a, a flying witch on a broomstick. You've got Master, uh, Master Emulator, Doom, and we've got the Dr. Mega Drive. So if I go up to Jarno Sisters, look at that, it's loading. GP32 data loading, check it out. Will we get anything come up? Here we go. Jarno's Return. For those who don't know what this is, it's a rip-off of Mario Brothers. It was released on the Commodore. Uh, I think it's on the 64, and I think I've got an Amiga as well somewhere. On a compact flash, um, compact flash card. Let's press the start button. You see there, it's just like Mario. Can we get a, can we get a fire flower? There we go. Look oh, okay, how that died. It's a lot harder than Super Mario Bros. Let's just try and get the fire flower. No. Let's go down in, can't go down there. Go one of the pipes. I'll get a fire flower on here. Nope. Look at that, it's impossible. A lot harder, like I said, than a Mario. Let's try a different game. Turn it off. Turn it on. We do play. We do Doom. We're going to press that. Now here, Doom, you have to put your own WAD files in so you can download Doom. You can change... The speed of the, uh, the handheld, so 166 megs, I don't think it's 166 megs, to make it run faster and stuff. So let's just press start to launch Doom. It says ready. There we go. See there, look how quick Doom's running on this. Lovely, you can play Doom.
Now with Doom, you don't need to really aim, you just shoot over the direction of the player. Let's get some, oh, let's get some health. Oh, that's better. Got ourselves a nice shotgun there, gotcha. Let's go around again. Right, let's try another game. So, when we play the Mega Drive, let's do the Mega Drive emulator. You'll see, let's have a look. So, Dr. SMD, or Dr. MD, sorry. GBAX.com Retro is here. Select a ROM. We do. Obviously, we've got to do something the Hedgehog. go it's running up according to that we're getting around about 60 frames a second there we go it runs mega drive more or less okay we're getting about 35 40 frames a second so yeah sonic hedgehog runs fine on it but what i really wanted this for is to play Master System games on the go because Master System is my all-time favourite console. My very first console I ever owned back in 1990. Let's go to this one. This would emulate Master System and Game Gear. Here we go. If I go to Load ROM, go back, go to SMS Games. Give it a few seconds. Come on, you can do it. If you go down there, you got, yeah, this is a great gun. Alex Kid in Shinobi Worlds. Then we're going to go play a game. What a game this thing is. I used to sit for hours playing this thing. I even done a sat up all night playing it on an emulator to try and actually finish the game. If we go along. You can see there. That's a bit of an issue we see about. That's the reason I got it, so I could play my system games on the go. Yeah, I can. I can use a Game Gear, but you never see the Game Gear screen. Now, back in 2002, 2003, when this thing came out, I think that's when it, when I got mine, there was nothing else out that could really play emulators, as far as I'm aware. So I used this thing. You used to play it all the time, this one. And you've got all different options here. You can load your ROMs up, save your states. So you can save the state of the game, so you can save it there, load it back up, and uh, you can, let's go to brightness. Adjust the brightness, press the button. Okay, we're going to get back. Will we get back? Come on. No. Nope. All right. That was a look at, quick look at the Game Park Holdings GP32 Blue, which is, stands for Battle Unit, which is a rival for the Game Boy. Ended up being a, one of the first sort of handhelds you could do emulation on. There are other ones you can do it on, such as the Ambernet 351 P, which I've got. And a GP32, uh, GP2X, which is a lot more powerful than this, and that play things like Grand Theft Auto and stuff. Anyway, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, that button seems to work too. God, it's gone on for nearly nine minutes. But thanks for watching, and if you have had one of these consoles or ever heard of it, post it down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. 7-3 for now.